Touch of gloves, Richard. Mm. There we go. Today's hashtag daily debate question for at MMA Junkie Radio. Can TJ Dillashaw repair his legacy if he chooses to return from his USADA suspension January 2021? Richard Hunter. Um, repair his legacy. I mean, to to the level that it has existed up to this point, I don't know. I mean, I I think he can he can reclaim some semblance of a career. Sure, he's a fantastic athlete. I mean, I I, I couldn't imagine him not being in in still uh, pretty top form, uh, even even with a couple of years going by. But in terms of reclaiming a legacy, like people are barely going to remember that this ever happened, no, because I, I think the timing could not be more unfortunate. If T.J. Dillashaw were going to be 25 when he returned instead of uh, 35, maybe, but uh, I think that's going to be a big problem. Well, here's the question. Do you, do you feel like he's coming back at all? Because that is an option. You know what? Um, it, it depends on if the... TJ seems to me, and I don't know him personally or anything, but just in you know what I've observed, mm-hmm. he seems like a guy who has probably taken good care of his money, has a nice little setup for his life and things like that. So maybe he doesn't need to, but I could see the competitive side of TJ. The something I got to prove something side of TJ coming back to do it, and I would think that maybe that part would would uh, would win out. I actually. I'm starting to lean towards he may not come back, mm. but do you think that's in relation to the fact that he's just been so? I just don't silent? know. I, he's been silent, mm-hmm. but I don't know who he comes back with. How fans will react to him? Uh, this is pretty bad. What he did. Yeah. Okay. Um, can he repair the legacy? No, because now we got champ champs. I mean, people are doing so many things to stand out from just being great that something like this is just easy to help people get rid of you in that in that discussion. Even a guy like John Jones, how many people say he would be the greatest of all time, but we yeah. have to weed some of these guys out. That's why it's so amazing things that GSP did, uh, Demetrius Johnson. It's so amazing to us because we had to weed some of these other fellows out because of what they've done. Can he resurrect a career? Yeah. I mean, Arguably, Brock Lesnar's probably going to walk into a title shot, right? Mm -hmm. He can do that. John Jones has done it. But his legacy, I think he just falls short. I think he falls right out of the discussion. Yeah. And I I also think that the things that were championed, like the things I brought up that I loved about T.J. Dillashaw, like the fact that he would step on the gas and go for a finish when he was already up four rounds to nothing – those are those are thoughts and memories that I have, but those aren't necessarily the ones that are reflected in the record books. So those don't those define your legacy with people who know. But in terms of the way it's going to look on the printed page, this is going to be a huge one to overcome. It looks like it's going to be a no from us. We got to see what Junkie Nation said. Junkie Nation came strong. They said 79% of them said no, he cannot. 21% said yes. It's sad man, a guy with uh, so much potential. But hopefully you can prove us all wrong. That's today's Daily Debate. Thank you for joining us for that.